Hi there. Now in this video, what I want to do is show you how we go about differentiating functions like you see here. Where we take a trigonometric function, in this example, sine and this one cosine, and we raise it to a power 4. And it's of an angle, which is some function of x. Now in order to do this, we've got to use the chain rule. And we use it a couple of times over, so it's quite long-winded. And what I'd encourage you to be able to do is to be able to do it in your head as much as possible. So let's just go back and familiarize ourselves with the chain rule. Okay, dy dx equals dy by dt times dt by dx, t being a function of x. Now, when it comes to an example like this, we should already be familiar with the fact that this is exactly the same as taking the sine of the angle, 5x minus 2, and then, in this case, cubing the result. OK? Now, I can think of this by using the chain rule as saying, let t equal the sine of 5x minus 2. So what we have got is y equals t cubed. And I would be trying to encourage you to do this in your head, but for now, I'm just going to write this down. Let t equal the sine of all of 5x minus 2. So what we've got then is that therefore y equals t cubed. So when it comes to dy by dt, we've got dy by dt is clearly 3t squared. So for dy by dx, okay, we're going to have that this is equal to dy by dt. We know it's 3t squared, so it's going to be 3 times t, which was the sine of all of 5x minus 2. And that is all squared. Okay, so I just put that in its own square brackets there and that is squared. So that's the dy by dt bit. I'm just going to write a line underneath that just to show that that corresponds to what we've got here. Now we need to multiply this by dt by dx. So we've got to differentiate the sine of 5x minus 2 with respect to x. Now if you looked at the previous tutorial on this, you'd know that we need to use the chain rule again to differentiate this we would essentially let t equal the 5x minus 2. So we would have the sine of t. Differential sine of t is the cosine of t. So that would be the cosine of 5x minus 2. Remember the t I'm saying now is not the t that you see here. t is now the 5x minus 2. And we would need to multiply this by the differential of what we call t. t was the 5x minus 2. Differentiating that with respect to x gives us the 5. OK, so it's kind of like a double dose of the chain rule. We need the chain rule to differentiate the sine of all of 5x minus 2. That's what we did in the previous tutorial. So it's just a question of cleaning this up. We've got 3 times the 5 there, which is the 15. I could write the cosine of 5x minus 2 first, or I could write sine squared of all of 5x minus 2 next. It's up to you. I'll write the sine of 5x minus 2 all squared as sine squared 5x minus 2. And then that's multiplied by the cosine then of all of 5x minus 2. And there you go. All right. Let's take this next one, y equals 2 cosine to the power 4 of all of x squared plus 7. How do we do this one? Well, what I wanted to do or think of is that this is the same as 2 times all of the cosine of x squared plus 7. And that is all to the power 4. So if I was to let t equal the cosine of x squared 
plus 7, then what I've got is that y equals 2t to the power 4. And so when it comes to dy by dt in the chain rule, then clearly that's going to be 8t cubed. So for dy by dx then, dy by dx is going to equal dy by dt, which we've already seen is 8t cubed. So it's going to be 8 times all of t cubed. t was the cosine of x squared plus 7. So we've got the cosine of x squared plus 7, and that is raised to the power 3. Now I've got to do dt by dx, and this is where we would need to use the chain rule again. By now you should be able to do this in your head, okay? So this would be the differential of cosine t if you like, t being the x squared plus 7. That goes to minus the sine of t. So minus sine, but the t now is x squared plus 7. All right, so I hope this is not too confusing. All right, so we've got that. And then we multiply it by dt by dx, t being the x squared plus 7. That's going to give us 2x. Okay, so the dy by dt here is this part here, okay, 8t cubed. Cleaning this up further gives us 8 times the minus there, times the 2x, it's going to be minus 16x. And then I'm going to write cosine cubed of x squared plus 7, and then the sine of all of x squared plus 7. And there you have it. So hopefully now you're able to differentiate functions like this where we've got a power involved. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Then the next tutorial I'll work with tangent and also a sec cube function. Okay, so uh, hopefully you'll have a go at those examples.